I got evasion at the start of the battle thanks to Lamuna. Oh, oh my god, that combo, what the heck was that? Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at Brigadier Holter. This is the free Legends Pass monster. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is basically play the game and you will get this monster by like the second or third week of the game. Just get accumulating points in the Legends Pass. All right, Brigadier Holter, he is a metal and dark monster. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provide the monster, all the cells need to take him to rank five. Any gems I use will be reimbursed. And they provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. All right, Brigadier Holter, let's see what you can do. I have not seen your skill sheet yet. Holter has his own understanding of what a union of galactic civilizations should look like. The problem is that his vision isn't shared by the rest of the leads of these civilizations, mainly because what he speaks of as a union sounds more like an army at his mercy for most. All right, Bullet Hell applies nanowires and metal weakness to all enemies, and then it deals that moderate metal damage, so you get advantage from that metal weakness you applied against the enemies. All right, we have the tough trait. All status effects have a 35% less accuracy against this target. You are immune to control. So stun, freeze, possession, corruption, mega vari uh, variations, immunity. And, ooh, nice, an area of metal weakness at the start of the battle. This reminds me of, like, Nishant, right? Nishant has that magic weakness, then you follow up with a magic-based attack. This monster has the area of metal weakness against the enemy. You buff him, you train transfer into him, and he packs a punch. All right, let's compare his stats. I can already tell you. One, 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 zero, that is the highest power stats in the whole entire game. And again, add that to the area of metal weakness. No enemy monster, no Megaton monster is going to survive this guy. He just needs one metal based AoE and he's going to obliterate the enemy. All right, so just so you can quickly compare them to the other galactic monsters, those are the speed sets. As you can see, the power is that the thing that's the most green because that is the highest in the game. We'll start off with the life stats. He has a pretty good life stat, 140,847, tied to that of Lamuna, so pretty good. As you can see, the new monsters are quite tanky. The only one that Brigadier Holter beats is Dabunka, which again is funny because Dabunka, looking at the monster, you would think is tankier than it actually is. In terms of the power stat, again, you're in first place. You beat Duke Shrimp Waiter, the exclusive, the last exclusive bounty at Blossom Mythic. And in terms of the speed stats, you're also pretty darn fast, which makes sense. You're a tank. Actually, tanks are slow, no? You got wheels. All right, so Salmon Colby, Lamuna, and Ravenbot are faster than you from the new era. But compared to the other monsters, you're actually tied with that of Tentacon and Shao Lion. So overall, pretty good speed stat. The average for the Blossom era is 80,000, or sorry, 8,088. So you're pretty fast and you have a really, really good power stat. That's the, oh, whoops. I guess I went low to high. You have a really, really good power stat. Off-road tackle removes shield from an enemy. 26 stamina, zero cooldown. Bursting Lead deals low metal damage to one enemy, applies metal weakness to one enemy, okay. Expert Shot deals low metal damage to one enemy, applies double damage to itself, a setup skill for your next attack. Alright, Burning Cannon deals low fire damage, applies burn. We're seeing lots of low weak attacks, but let's move on. Alright, Weak Points deals heavy dark damage to an enemy and removes shields. It kind of sucks that it removes the shields after the matter, however the, the shield removal is an AoE while the attack is single, so maybe you singularly attack a monster that's vulnerable. Let's say there's like a an Uriel, you attack Uriel, but maybe some other monster has a shield, so that could be useful. We have Improved Maneuver, deals moderate metal damage to an enemy, applies metal weakness and nanovirus. The nanovirus is good because that prevents him from reapplying positive effects. Metal weakness, so that's always set up. Heavy caliber, moderate dark damage to an enemy, removes shield from one enemy. So this is the one I'm not a fan of, because yes, you attack someone, deal damage, Damage the shield and then remove the shield. Mm. And then infectious shot deals moderate metal damage to an enemy applies nanovirus. Ah no! Bring it here, Holter! We did not see a skill sheet for this monster. I had high hopes for him after seeing the high power stats and the area metal weakness, but metal based attacks. Here, let's put all the metal based attacks together. Metal based, metal based, metal based, and I think that's it. So here are his metal based attacks. We have a moderate metal to one enemy, low metal to one enemy, low metal to one enemy, moderate metal to one enemy. He doesn't have an AoE. How is he going to take down the enemy Megaton monster? Oh, no. This saddens me. He actually doesn't have any AoEs. He's all single. 
Definitely not running off road tackle. Low fire damage and a burn? Why? Moderate dark damage. Your best skill is weak points and it doesn't even feel that strong. Ah, I'm sad. Part of me just wants to say, hey, just run all the metal attacks and utilize the metal weakness. That's going to be your main thing. The reality is in PvP, like, if there's a Magneton monster, it's going to absorb the metal weakness. So you probably are going to have to reapply. Um, most of the time, turn one. Why, why did Expert Shot have to be so weak? I would have loved it if this was like a heavy metal attack. Maybe OTK, you gave yourself double damage, so you set up for the next attack. That would have been cool. Oh, man. Um, your strongest attack is heavy weak points, so I would run weak points. There's quite a few earth monsters you got to take care of. You know, Pango's still in the game. You have... Um, shit, players don't really use shit much. Um, Uriel is earth. Uh, King Autumn is dark, is Earth, so Dark takes an advantage. So let's just do that. Why does he have no AOEs? Improved maneuver, the nanovirus, metal weakness setup. Uh, we'll run the double damage expert shots. Um, I part of me wants to do the other nanovirus. Part of me is like maybe the situation where running burning cannon and burning the enemy could come in handy. Honestly. I would say these three skills, weak points, improved maneuver, and expert shot run. The last and final skill, if you want another metal attack, nanovirus, you could. If you want another dark attack, like heavy caliber, you could. Uh, if you want the burning skill, it's a fire based attack. Maybe it'll help out just to have a variety of skills. It's weaker, it does a dot. Oh man. Let me down, Halter, you let me down. We'll run a mass so he doesn't have to worry about stamina. We'll give him a laser beam sword. I normally do cane sword, but I want to see his full maximum damage output. And we will give him. What should we give him? Anything that increases armor. Um, after damaging with a skill target, life is below light damage. Sure, why not? We'll go photon saber. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, rune setup wise, he does have the highest power stat in the game. He's definitely not the strongest, especially what we've seen from the weak skills. Um, but we're going to go to strength and a speed as is typical on an attacker. So we'll do that. All right. So two strength and a speed. Um, the biggest thing is that metal weakness. So that's going to be cool to just maybe I, I'll probably do expert shot first if I can deal a good amount of damage and then weak points next. And I will be super strong. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I'll partner him up with Amania so I can get a damage boost at the start of the battle. So let's see what he can do. All right. It is time for Brigadier Holter to shine. Hopefully... Let's see what he can do. Let's take fight. He's already at rank five. All right, let's see. Fruit taster. Hey, good thing I have a fire based attack as weak as it is. Good thing. All right, first thing first is get rid of my own poison because that'll kill me. Get rid of, oh, nothing. Like how evasion or something. No, we're good. Uh, damage boost. All right. Um, have to attack just for the sake of attacking. Mud body, ouch, that's gonna get annoying. I messed something up. Um, don't get clumped away. Evasion, unfortunately. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I'll give myself double damage. Okay, mud. Rotten bananas. What did I mess up? I need to do Pisces. The mud body's gonna kill, though. That's what I messed up. Let's do this. Um, damage boost. Then attack him. Oh, did it really get used up? Okay, cool. So, right now, obviously, I have all the buffs. Um, strong, metal weakness, nano. I should have kept that other skill. Even the weak one is strong. Um, we'll keep 45, 40. We'll keep the dark-based attack. 1.29 mil with all the buffs. Lost my king. My generals. Two generals working together. All right, burning cannon. With all my buffs, I am able to OTK. Boom, 569k damage. But that obviously requires setting up like crazy. Um, ideally, I just, the question you always gotta ask yourself is like, okay, cool, it looks like he's strong and everything, but if I had an option between him and another attacker, you know, Serpent X, Cherub Cupid, who would you rather run? You'd rather run someone that could take full, full advantage. All right. Um, I think if I just do a damage boost and then turn transfer, I'll be okay. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Boom. Run anchor. Let's see how strong my attack is. All right, burning cannon, yeah, kills. Um, and then here's weak points, also killing Uriel. I think we'll just do burning cannon. 
And then Uya will probably try to do like the, oh, he actually rezzed, wow. Okay, I am just gonna turn transfer. Save Poseidonia, burning cannon, 310, kill you again, 504. All right, Nimbus, dead. All right, weak points, let's see how much it deals. So right now I still have my buffs. I should see the monster without Amania. 1.06. We'll remove Amania for the next one. Panda close bomb, Nimbus. Holter looks cool. I love his gun. Bullet hell. Flies nano metal weakens to enemies, deals modern metal. You wanna see the funniest thing? Dodge every monsters and they miss it all. <laughs> no. Um expert shot. Expert shot. Oh yeah, because he's light. So he's like against Uriel. Fortunately you have that advantage against him like crazy. Oh shoot, I don't want to accidentally kill you. All right, you know, could have just cleansed, turn transfer to killed. All right, let's 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 remove Amonia from this. Let's not use you, let's, um, who should we use? Um, someone that can cleanse, someone that could help out. I'm trying to think new generation, who can help from the new generation? Uh, maybe, maybe we can find a point where we possess someone to free someone, all the buffs will, all the random bu positive effects will help. All right, let's try this out. Okay, round three, I think. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Megaton, oh, cool, oh, perfect. I, Cause I didn't get to showcase this in Lamuna's video where if there's a Dodge Arrow and an Uriel, I can do Our Hearts Linked, or sorry, if there's a Megaton and an Uriel, I can do Our Hearts Linked still, and then I can still possess Uriel. Uriel will not get to remove my stuff or, cause you know how the first skill he does is always like, Calamitous Dictum or something that removes positive effects. He's not going to get to do that. And everything else continues. Alright, here is the meta weakness on the enemy. So, a meta based attack 734459. So, that's without buffs. The only buff I'm getting is the beast, right? The the nature beast. So, if only he was. Are you running life? Life, life, life. Oh, if he wasn't running life, I would have been able to OTK. So, he can deal as much as 734 at rank 5 with the laser beam sword and that 25% boost. Oh wait, but these are level 9 runes, so if you give him level 10, he'd be a little stronger. Alright, um, I think it makes the most sense to do nanovirus to prevent him from applying some other stuff. Alright. Um, possession. Removes negative effects. We'll probably just remove the Megatont and give my monster some random stuff. Uh, let's go with torture, control immunity, mega stun. Oh, that's fine. We'll just go hard as a diamond. All right, resentment fog right back at you, Nimbus. Okay, he's dead, and then I just possess again. And then Halter does like an expert shot. Let's just see. So expert shot as weak as it is at twenty five. Let's see how much damage it deals. Five oh four. So the advantage against Uriel is you do have two of his elemental weaknesses. You have metal. And you have dark. All right, let's call this a day. So, ooh, this might be fun to show to use these two monsters together. All right, I think we'll do like two more battles. I think I'm in Champion League already, so the battles are just gonna get easier and easier. Oh, or, or not? Maybe I spoke too soon. All right, uh, possess Uriel turn one. Our hearts linked. All right. Maybe should have possessed Cherububa turn one. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I got evasion at the start of the battle thanks to Lamuna. Oh, oh my god, that combo. What the heck was that? Kills me, he reses me. That is awesome. All right, I need to cleanse. My monsters have... That's eh, not too bad. Sunburn boiling. And oh, no, I think I need to cleanse. Mm, I'm debating, I'm debating. I don't have an AoE, so I can't even kill Cherub Cupid. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Mirror damage, damage boost. That's still there. Ooh, let's see what I come up with. Um, no stamina, do anything, a recharge. Borrow vision, useless, let's just do this. All right, unfortunately he has taunts. I have triple damage. I have triple damage right now. I think that boiling's gonna kill me. Yep, aw oh, man, this was fun. The beginning was fun though. Cherub Cupid kills me. I managed to possess Uriel on turn one, even though there's a Megaton monster. Uriel reses my monster. 
Like, what are the odds of that? That was epic to see. That was really, really epic. All right. We'll end with this battle, regardless of how it is. Let's see. And a serpent text. No. This is going to get dangerous. Um, can't possess you. Wait, I can't possess you. You have Abomination Hater. Pierce couldn't. Okay, cool. So, our hearts. No, we don't even need to use that one. We'll just go borrow vision, possess lands. Ooh. Nice. All right, Mediterranean, Soul Snatch. All right, let's see what my monsters have. I have Dodge Area over here. That's awesome. I have. Um, oh, I lost my buffs. I have Dodge Area here as well. Wow, cool. All right, so I have a fire based attack for nature monsters. I have a metal based attack. All right, and he, they all have the metal weakness, so that's pegging a punch. Um, let's kill. I'm curious, 40 damage is my strongest one? But expert shot sets up for my next attack, right? So we would go expert shots 395k. All right. And then here we would do the cleansing. All right, and then I can possess again if needed. He went straight for me. Hopefully I just recharge. Hard as a diamond, that's just as good. All right, you used to have a metal weakness, so you're gonna get OTK'd. I have the double damage set up as well. All right, uh, let's possess you real quick. Blind as well, save for second. Yeah, thank you for the heal. Ooh, lots of dot damage, huh? Improved maneuver, let's see how much damage. I know he's gonna res, but that's fine. 1.8 million damage. All right, using him, he doesn't seem that bad, I think, in the right team. But overall, again, I don't think he's gonna be used in the meta. Like, if Nishant wasn't used, and Nishant has magic weakness and strong AoEs and everything, and it's his patient, Holter's definitely not gonna be used at all. All right, let's see what I get here on these new eggs. Multiple token, four, four, four cells. All right, guys, so that is it on Holter, Brigadier Holter. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.